what's up you guys craft farms here and welcome back to another video on upper mississippi river valley today we're going to finish off some planting uh i also want to show you guys a couple of items that i did um so as i had said i would do i was going to check out that uh sprayer pack that goes with the um the sprayer add-on mod and i did and I have that sprayer right here. Uh, it I did replace it so it was in the shed. But I forgot that the one that I had on my test save game was unfolded. So it was like halfway up the wall of the shed and it was unfolded out. So I just reset it. And then I did mention one other time that I would get us a couple of gravity wagons. Uh, because they kind of go with the style of farming that we're doing a little better in the Richard Western. And I know these don't turn black when you look a certain direction at them. So, we got those sitting there as well. And, uh, yeah. But, what we're going to do first is we're going to, uh, go ahead and finish planting this corn. And then we will go ahead and fast forward a couple of days, uh, to... Uh, be able to plant soybeans Now you guys uh, gave me a lot of feedback as to whether or not we should do dairy this year and Pretty much everybody that replied said yes do it so um, Maybe Maybe at the end of this video we'll see or else we'll wait until we're done planting uh, we'll see what kind of time we have here when we get done. Um, I don't think this video is going to have a different intro. But I'm going to be working on getting stuff together to do um, new intros. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new intro for this series and then also the um, mapping series. That I'm doing on my new work in progress map. Uh, you guys have seen a video of that now. Um, Saturday. And then there's one going to be out today as well. Uh, along with this video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting some new um, intros set up. I haven't quite figured out how I want to set them up yet. And then also every channel is going to have a custom video theme thumbnail now to go with what we're doing in the video. Um, so like here, what I'm going to do on this next pass, uh, I'm going to stop the planter. And I'm going to um, take a screenshot and I will edit it later to... Um, be the video thumbnail I don't really, really don't need to zoom in that much so I'm not gonna do a steam screenshot there as well because you know I'm not using it for steam uh, or to post to steam but yeah so I'm going to be making some changes. I do have a custom video thumbnail for the um, other videos. I just need to go and I need to use Photoshop for it. And um, I need to put it into Photoshop and save it. Or actually I kind of, I'm just going to redo it. And I'm going to use Photoshop so that way I can edit it to have like the episode number for each video. Um, so that way it's a little bit, I don't know, then it's a little more in time with the videos, you could say. Uh, yeah, okay, so what my plan is for this episode is we're going to finish planting this corn. Uh, we'll take the corn planter back to the farm and, uh, probably top it off. We'll wash up this tractor just so it's nice and clean because we're going to have to wait a couple of days to plant soybeans anyways and then what we'll do is we will 
Um, let's see, we will... Then we'll, uh, get the sprayer and the wagons put away, and then we'll start buying all of the, um, cattle equipment that we need. And we'll probably maybe get started on hauling it. We'll have to see where we're at. But we might be able to get started on hauling some of it. We will have to haul probably this tractor over to the dairy farm. So that way we can use... Because uh, we have to buy a loader tractor. So the tractor that we buy we can use to load stuff onto our PJ at the dealership and then we can use like this tractor uh, to unload it at the dairy farm uh, and I've got my list here so we'll be able to figure everything out um, I scribbled tether off but I am going to still use that I think I don't know, I, I have the general idea of what I want to buy anyways. So I guess this list at first was just kind of to figure out prices of stuff. But I'm not really worried about it right now because we do have quite a bit of money. And as I've said before, we do have the ability to take out loan if if we need it. Um, but I don't have a feeling that we will. I'm hoping that we won't anyways. We just got three passes left, or I guess I should say two after this one. Uh, two passes left to plant. And then we'll be done with the corn. And we just have our two fields of soybeans to plant yet. But uh, that we will have to wait until tomorrow to do. So it is currently Saturday. I'm going to try and get uh, a week's worth of videos out over the next couple of days um, so that way I can have them done. Then I can go and do some of the mapping videos and get those done as well. Because um, those, are, those are every other day and they go out at the same time as uh, these videos do. So... One more pass left, and then we will be good to go and uh, get some of our other tasks done. Actually, I don't. Well, let's see. Yeah, we will have to take this back to the farm because we'll have to get it refilled before we start uh, soybeans tomorrow. We are pretty much done with this. We're halfway through our planting as well. We're getting uh, getting things done here. Yeah, I've wanted to do custom thumbnails for quite a while, but I never could get it to work because the maximum file size is two and a half megabits, and my screenshots always came out, you know, like four or five megabits. So it never really worked. And then I was messing around with the one for the um, 
for the mapping series and you know even that one it was just a picture off of Google and then I just added some text to it and that thing even like the file size jumped and so I was trying to figure out what the world I could do to fix it and then I saw that I have a I have one picture that's saved as a JPEG and the file that one uh, has so much more detail on it and stuff like that but yet it was like only a couple hundred kilobits but that was saved as a JPEG so what I did is I went and I saved the one for the mapping video as a JPEG and that came out like under a thousand kilobits so I guess that would be a whoa that would be under a megabit probably but anyway so I found out that in order to be able to um, use them you just gotta save them as a JPEG so now I can do it finally and I have an also been wanting to do uh, a new intro but I wanted to do one oops, definitely can't use this tractor uh, but I've wanted to do one where it kinda like was an overview of what the channel was but now I think I'm just gonna do it for each individual series so um, I'll make one specific to uh, this series here now like I said at the moment I'm not sure if uh, it's in this video or not if it's not it'll probably be in one of the next few um, I'm still at the moment that I'm recording this video I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it if you know like what I want to do for it um, but not exactly sure yet at this moment oh, this is good enough here I guess uh, but yeah so I'm not exactly sure yet but I'm sure by the time this video has gone out well of course by the time this video has gone out I'll have figured something out because that's this video goes out in two days for me and uh, I'm gonna be recording a lot of videos so I'm pretty sure that I will most likely have it figured out already by now so we'll see how well hooking up these wagons goes Not even exactly sure. How much do these hold? Maybe we only need one of them. Oops. Twenty-three thousand. Yeah. We only need one of them. And of course, it was the one that we were hooked on to. There we go. I just drove by where I wanted to put it. See how well I can do backing this thing up. At least I'm not trying to guide it into uh, a uh, guide it up to another one. And again, I forgot to sign out of Steam. Typical. Seems to me that I do that every single video. Most of the time, just slips my mind. gonna back this up beside this grain bin if we can bit of a hill right here I'm not sure how well this thing's gonna like this oh, that wasn't too bad okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to buy the equipment that we need 
for doing dairy. Um, so we can go here. So the first thing we need is we need the swather. So we're going to get the Massey Ferguson 885 swather. And then because we're in this category, we're also going to get the Massey Ferguson 200 uh, forage harvester that picks up windrows. And we want, we'll get it with the warning triangle, I guess. Okay, so now we need the header for our swather, which is the uh, 885 cutter. Okay, so we got, so let's see, let's check stuff off. We got the swather, we got the header, we got the chopper. Now we need our tether. Which we're going to get the HS 7 foot hay tether. Check. Um, now we need our round baler and our bale trailer. Now we're going to get the Massey Ferguson 114 for a bale trailer. And then the 125F round baler. So we got our baler and we got our bale mover. Now we need our mixer. Let's see, I'm going to get, I don't know what the difference is between those two, other than looks. We'll just go with this one, I guess. So we got a mixer. We need the blower and the water trailer. Got that, got that. Uh, we need our tractor. We're going to get the... Um, where is it here? The... Which one is it again? Okay, the uh, International 826, we want the front loader. We're going to get the gear drive demons. Uh, we'll go with the hydro demonstrator. Let's see. We're going to do that, and we're going to get the... Uh, we're just going to do rops with canopy. So we got that. So when it says front loader attacher, it actually has a loader on it. So we don't have to buy that separately. Now we need a bale fork and a bucket. We're going to get the blue diamond bale spear and then the red... Or the international loader bucket in red. So we got that. We got that. Now we need our silage wagon and our stock trailer. Or livestock trailer, basically. Um, let's see, there's a whole bunch of them here. They're all pretty much the same, for the most part. That one's diable. That one's diable. That one is not, and this one is not. We're going to go with painted, and we're going to go black. Well, what's the difference? They're the same price. Ah, heck, we'll just go with this one, I guess. Oh, okay. So we need to wait to buy our last two items until... Until we get some stuff moved, so what we need to do is we're going to run over here and we need to hop in our pickup. And we need to go hook on to our PJ trailer. Are we going to miss that? Yes, just barely. So we need to grab our PJ trailer and we'll load up that tractor and run it over to the dairy farm quick. <clears throat> Oops. 
So we'll just run that up to the dairy and then we'll head into town and start hauling some of our equipment. Oh, uh, there's one other thing that we forgot to buy and that is a rake because uh, we need a rake. So I forgot to buy that but we'll buy that after we move a few items out of the way. Uh, we're gonna wash this tractor first before we start doing some of this stuff. Just kind of get it cleaned up a little bit. Perfect. Alright, now we can get this tractor loaded up and taken over to the dairy. Alright, so let's get trucking. Try not to lose anything. Whether it be putting our truck and trailer in the ditch or uh, sending the tractor flying. I actually have put this same setup you know minus the tractor of course but uh, I have put this same setup in the ditch once already on my large scale save game uh, I was I was hauling some equipment of some sorts and I was going back for another load and oh no it was actually on this save game when I was hauling stuff to set it up that's what it was and I took a different route to get to town and I came down the hill kind of probably you know not kind of probably I was going way too fast to be going down that hill uh, coming around a corner and I ended up way down in the ditch in a little creek and uh, yeah I it it didn't take me too terribly long to get the pickup itself out but to get the trailer out that took forever um, it took so long to figure out a good way to be able to pull it out and just sitting there you know trying the attach detach quick thing and I tried every single thing I could think of and not one thing would work it was just insane um, so we're gonna take this back here because the back shed back here is where we're gonna store a lot of this equipment actually maybe yeah we'll store store stuff in here and then I'm also going to use it to well maybe I won't have to use it to stack bales because I got there are quite a few sheds on here that you can stack bales on, so... Or in, excuse me. So we'll open up this gate as well. I'll open up our shed doors here. And we'll unload this tractor. back it up right there 
So now I haven't priced in like I'm an earth spreader or anything like that yet. Uh, I'll worry about buying that later on because, I mean, we have to build up lots of manure and slurry anyways before it really pays to use it. So, you know, we we can worry about buying a manure spreader sometime later on down the road when, uh, you know, when there's more stuff built up. I mean, the slurry doesn't really take that long to build up a bunch of, but, like, the manure... It kind of does, and just the both of them take forever to fertilize a field with because normally there's never enough of one to do, you know, more than a few fields, especially because we're probably only going to have like 20 cows or so uh, to start off with. Maybe 20 or 30, I'll say. And, I mean, we're not going to have a whole lot of cows, so their production won't be like super fast and then of course you know we will gain cows over time uh, with the reproduction so that'll also help but I mean we couldn't just start off with like two or three and then let the production build up the rest I mean I'm thinking I'm thinking probably 20 cows will do do us for now I mean even that'll be a couple hundred thousand dollars so I mean, there's that to think of. So. Plus, we also have to have money to pay our uh, maintenance and daily upkeep and stuff like that. I know I'm kind of all over the road, but I'm trying not to be. But, um, yeah, we also have to be able to pay our daily maintenance. And I'd like to not be in the red when harvest time comes around. But if that's what has to happen, I guess that's what has to happen. So we got all, our, all of our equipment sitting there lined up and ready to rock. Of course, we can't use any of it until at least spring summer when we can start cutting hay um, like our mixer wagon and stuff like that that's not going to get used until like fall probably or something well no we'll be able to use some of it in the summer because as soon as we harvest our wheat and get um, some of that stuff we can um start getting ready to oh, this does not have it uh, we can start getting ready to feed uh, cows and uh, you guys also did a lot of give me a lot of feedback on my question of what power food is uh, and actually not long after I filmed that video uh, I found out what exactly it is so this is not really going to look quite right on here, but... Uh-oh. I think we're going to have to back it on. But uh, this is not going to quite go on right. And this is not the right trailer for this, but... Uh, I'm not driving this thing all the way up to the dairy. Uh, actually, that looks like it might be what I have to do. Tell you what, we're going to reset this thing. And we'll just drive it from the uh, other farm, from our main, our main farm, over to the, um, over to the dairy. We can do it that way. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. So yeah, as you can see, this does have the uh, front loader on it. So 
we need to buy a couple of items yet and we're going to first off get this chopper out of here and then we'll have enough room to buy the uh, three remaining items and then off camera I'll work on getting everything uh, put away and hauled to the farm and then I can show you guys all of it in the next video but first off we need to buy our stock trailer and then we need to buy a rake. We're going to get the Vermeer VR1224. And then we need a chopper wagon. That is under loading wagons, I believe. Uh, we're going to go with... We're going to go with this H&S one here. So, yeah. So this is all of our equipment. 826 International with a International 2350 loader, our Massey Ferguson 200 chopper, and I guess you guys know everything that we got, basically. Um, man, I need to remember what key this is to get this to go away. Oh, it is left control one. Uh, I think I need to reprogram that to a different key. It does have the digital monitor on there, which is also very cool. But yeah, so like I said, I'm going to work on getting stuff hauled, and I'm going to get a new outro filmed, or intro filmed as well. Uh, and I'll get all this stuff put away, and then in tomorrow's video, uh, I'll show you guys how I got everything set up. And then we will fast forward time and get started on planting some corn, or excuse me, some soybeans, and uh, then we will work on that. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.